Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited for this review because I'm gonna be talking about Cynthia Rowley Cosmetics. And I'm so excited about this because I haven't seen a lot of reviews about Cynthia Rowley before. This is a brand that is exclusive to Birchbox. So you can find them on birchbox.com. And Cynthia Rowley actually has like a whole selection of a bunch of different products. Um, but the products that I'll be sharing with you guys today are the eyeshadow palette and the lip stain trio. So the first item is the Cynthia Rowley Beauty The Game Face Palette. And this is an eyeshadow palette. So you open it up and it's a huge palette. You get a big mirror up here at the top. Then you get 10 eyeshadows. You also get a little black eyeliner and you get a little brush. So I really like that the two highlight shades are the biggest size. That's something that a lot of brands do, like Too Faced does that, and I think it's a really nice addition to a palette because these tend to be the shades that consumers go through the quickest, so it's nice to have a larger size. Then this is mostly a neutral palette. You have a whole line of browns here up at the top, and then we've got like a silvery color, a gray and a black, and then this cool green right here as well. This is the Cynthia Rowley Beauty Creamy Lip Stain Trio. This retails for $45 and you get three full-sized creamy lip stains. This one is called Tulip. It's a pretty purple color. This shade right here is called Valentine, which it's not very pinky looking. It's more of a coral, so I think Valentine's kind of a funny name. And then this one, which is actually the lip color that I'm wearing today, is called Sugar, which is like a mauve pink, but it definitely comes off on the lips as much more of like a true uh, like a baby pink. Okay, so I've already primed my lids using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, just the original one, and I want to use more of these like neutral colors on this top row here. I'll definitely be using some of these highlight shades for my brow bone and inner corner, but I think I'm going to keep it pretty neutral today. So I'm going to start off with this shade here, which is called Rookie, and I'm just going to apply that straight into my crease. This shade has a slight sheen to it, but it's not super matte and it's not super sparkly so it just kind of reflects light a little bit. Next I'm going to go in with this shade here which is called Winning Streak. It's a very shimmery bronzy color and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So next I'm going to take Hat Trick which is this dark chocolate color here and I'm going to start applying that to my outer corner. So I'm just taking a pencil brush and applying this right in the outer corner, kind of creating a V shape here. And then I'm just going to soften the edges with a blending brush. Oh my gosh. These eyeshadows blend out like butter. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this black, which is called Knockout, and I'm just going to use that to darken my very outer corner. The black is applying really smooth. It's not chalky at all. And it's blending out really, really easily. Okay, now I'm going to take Winning Streak, which was the color I did all over my lid, and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna deepen the very outer corner of my lower lash line with the black. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and highlight. I'm gonna use this highlight shade here, which is called MVP. And I'm just gonna apply this right on the brow bone. That's so pretty. And then I'm going to apply it right on my inner corner. Okay, now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna go in with the black eyeliner and I am just going to draw a line right on my upper lash line. really black and it's really gentle okay so this is the final result of the shadow and the liner I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I will be right back 
Okay, so I just added lashes. I put on a pair of Demi Wispies, which definitely adds some drama and kind of pulls the whole look together. But overall, I'm super happy with the eye look. This is definitely something that I would wear on a regular basis. And the shadows were so easy to work with. They blended so beautifully. And I think the color pigmentation and color payoff was really good. So I'm really happy with the eyes. Now I'm going to try out the lip products. I have three different colors here, but the one that's definitely calling my name is this more neutral guy here. Um, this is called Sugar. It's like a really pretty, like a pinky, cool toned, almost like a mauve -y color. So we're gonna try this guy on. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> I was like expecting it to smell good, but it doesn't smell like anything. It's very sheer, but I'm still getting color payoff with it. All right, I like the color, it's really pretty. It's very light on the lips. It's kind of, it's pretty hydrating actually, but it's not thick, it's not tacky. I can't really like feel it there. I don't know if I think this color on my lips is the color that's in this tube. I kind of thought it would be more mauve a little darker than the color on my lips. It almost looks like, like a really girly pink on my lips. But I like the color. It's just different than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette, I love the packaging. I think it's really, really pretty. It's very bold, and I think that the design is very sophisticated, and this is definitely something that I would see in a store, and it would definitely catch my attention. And I really like the size of the palette. However, I feel like it's a little big. I feel like it's a little bit larger than necessary. I wish that the eyeliner and brush maybe came separately and not part of the palette because if it was, you know, shorter like this, it would be more the size of like a naked palette and I think that would be a little bit more realistic. I like the packaging because I think it's so cute, but I'm having a hard time figuring out where to store this in my collection since it's so big. But let's move on from the packaging because it's about what's inside the packaging, right? When I went in with my blending brush with these shadows, they just blended away on their own. I barely had to run over the colors and they just melted into the other shades. It worked so, so well. I was very impressed by the quality of these shadows. And then the eyeliner, I was actually really impressed by as well. It reminded me a lot, a lot, a lot of the 24-7 Glide On Pencils by Urban Decay. Very true black, very creamy, really easy to work with. I'm not exactly sure on wear time just yet, but so far, so good. It's not transferring and I really enjoyed working with it and the eyeshadow brush was not bad a lot of the time the eyeshadow brushes that come in little kits or palettes like this tend to be just cheap little brushes but this one's really it's not bad it's not a bad shape it's very sturdy it's it's little it's a short little brush it's a little freebie but it's really cute and I used it for my lid color and I also used it for my highlight color and it worked really well. I felt like the brush deposited a lot of product and it was really soft, so very easy to work with. So one thing I noticed about these shadows is they actually don't swatch very well. When I first swatched them on my arm, they're very creamy. They definitely have a good like color payoff, but when you're swatching them, they don't feel like they're gonna be as like buttery and uh, pigmented as they actually are. When I actually applied them to my lids, I was much more impressed with the quality that I was when I swatched out the colors. But as you can see from the swatches, everything shows up. Everything's very true to color. They're just not incredibly overwhelming in swatch form, but on the eyes, they're actually really, really beautiful. And I also wanted to give you a swatch of this black just so you could see how extremely creamy that is and how black it is. It's a very intense, super, super creamy eyeliner. So the Creamy Lip Stain Trio is $45. Each of these individual lip stains retails for $20, so you can purchase them individually if you would prefer. And they also have a bigger color selection for the individual shades as well. 
Now, I love the packaging on these lip stains. I think these are so pretty. I think it's a very sleek packaging. I love the gold writing. I love the gold polka dots. And I was actually really excited about these. I was hoping they would be more of a liquid lipstick. That's not what Cynthia Rowley claims. They claim that it's going to be a lip stain, which it is. The product does stay on my lips for a long time. But I was a little bit underwhelmed with these products. I didn't feel like they were as extremely pigmented or true to color as I would have liked and I didn't feel like I got an effect that I was super excited about. Like I mentioned in the video, I think if you are someone who's looking for something quick and easy or something that's just going to stay on the lips all day long that you don't have to worry about or you could throw a gloss on top of, then this might be perfect for you. But for me, I wasn't super excited about it. I prefer something that has a little bit more pigment and a little bit more of a dramatic effect. So these are the three colors swatched. This one is Sugar, this one is Valentine, and this one is Tulip. I did want to let you guys know that if you are interested in these lip stains, that Birchbox does offer a mini trial size where you can get three of the shades in a mini size for $15. So if you're interested in trying these out, then that might be a good option for you. So overall, I'm really happy with the eyeshadow palette. I think it's a beautiful color selection. I just wish the packaging was maybe a little smaller because I do not know where I'm going to put this bad boy. But I'm really excited about it and I love the eyeliner that's in here as well and I actually think I'll be using that eyeliner a lot. Even on days that I'm not using this eyeshadow palette, I could see myself reaching for that eyeliner. So I'm very excited about this. And as for the lip colors, I think some people may enjoy this. There's nothing wrong with them. They didn't do anything that bothered me. There was an offensive scent. They didn't transfer. Nothing bad or wrong with them. I just wasn't super excited about these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and demonstration. Definitely leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below and I will have more details and information about these products in the description box down below as well. And definitely check out my other social media links that I will have provided in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.